In this video we're going to look at how we can find our IP address from our Raspberry Pi command line. This will be useful to allow us to connect to our Raspberry Pi from other computers. Rather than having to directly connect to our Raspberry Pi every single time that we want to interact with it. So like with Linux, there are a whole host of different ways that we can do this. The first of which is to simply type IP ADDR show. This will show us all of our IP addresses on every single network connection that's available to us. So in this example you can see that I have a local connection which is represented by LO preceded by the number 1. I then have an Ethernet connection which is preceded by the number 2 and then a wireless LAN connection which is preceded by the number 3. Another option available to us is to type ifconfig. IF standing for interface and then config obviously standing for, for configuration. This gives us slightly more detail about our connections and can be used to actually manage our connections with a lot of granularity. Another option available to us is to type hostname minus and then a capital I which will return our IP address directly to, to us without any of the other information which is included with the other options. Depending on the reason why you want to access your IP address you can of course choose different options. If you're trying to set up a network connection for the very first time it will usually be easier to use ifconfig than any of the others because it gives you so much more granularity as well as things like the broadcast IP address and the IP mask things which are not available in the other options and because you can feed information into other scripts it may be required that you actually have your specific hostname alone which is available through hostname minus I. In our next video we're going to be looking at making the final changes to our Raspberry Pi so that we can manage it from now on entirely through SSH and or a VNC client. This will mean that we no longer have to access our Raspberry Pi directly ever again. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out.